Enjoying a stroll with her son is something Joanne Karras couldn't do for years. Every time you stepped on that side, it was, it was a pain. Born with a congenital hip defect, she underwent surgery at 12 months old. And she was fine until she hit her 40s. I was 43. I, I couldn't do what I wanted to do. You know, I, I couldn't lift things, carry things. Any extra weight was a problem. She had her hip replaced and resumed life. 22 years later, the pain was back. And then I really started having a lot of pain, uh, significant limping. One leg had become noticeably shorter than the other. Probably about an inch and a half. Her replacement was failing. That's when she met hip revisionist Dr. Henry Finn. Her socket had moved into a vertical position. Instead of being at a, at a 45 degree angle such as this, it had moved vertically, it was loose, and she had developed these bone defects which are seen on her model. With little bone left, Dr. Finn used 3D printing technology to produce a replica of her hip. And you can see where there's hardware and you can see what the bone deficiencies are. But more importantly, you can actually hold the pelvis in your hands and plan for the surgery. With the model in hand, he focused on an advanced technique. And it makes the surgery go quicker, more reliable, and, and sometimes enhances the recovery for the patient. Using a device called the cup cage construct to reconstruct Joanne's deteriorated hip, Dr. Finn put her back on her feet again. If you need to have it done, just do it and don't be afraid. For Joanne, it was the right step to make. I'm Marty Salt reporting.